My name's John Chi. A lot of people know me as Shogun in my neighborhood. It was a nickname given to me ever since I was a little kid. I was born and raised in Flushing, Queens, New York City. And this is my story how hip hop saved my life. The first thing I see is um, you see this one Asian kid, like 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 a little Asian dude, in a bold haircut, in a Catholic school uniform, with his big old you know what I'm saying man purse or the book bag, and all yo is straight up like a hundred, like even a hundred. He's walking up to people. He's like yo, he's stone grilling everybody though. Like yo, you you with this? Nah, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm talking about ice cream, all these other. Yo, know, they look the part. They hood dudes, you know, hood bad dudes, hood black dudes. As one Asian kid just run up on them like, man, you know what I'm saying? You don't rock, you know what I'm saying? Get out of my face. Growing up, like I had my like uh, my small circle of friends, but the great thing about my small circle of friends is that we all came from a different ethnic background. We all had a different heritage, a different culture. Me, I'm Korean American. Like my best friend, like he's Puerto Rican and Filipino. My other best friend's Dominican. My other best friends, he was black. Me and Shogun, we grew up together. DK! DK they know me as, uh, he was uh, my buddy from very young, uh, he stayed with me for a while, you know, it was tight, it was tight for us, we stayed in a one bedroom apartment, but, you know, <laughs> we here now, we here now. <laughs> hey, Shogun Warrior, uh, who's the master, Shogun? Like, it, I wouldn't say it was just to, like, uh, to give props, I guess, you know, it's just mocking each other, but that nickname just stuck with me, it, it just it became my graffiti name. And um, it just stuck with me for all these years to this day. My mother called me Shogun. Um, shoot, cops on me Shogun, which is not the good one. Flushing, predominantly, it's an immigrant neighborhood. A lot of the people, especially now, they kind of moved in here in the 80s and the 90s. Um, a lot of Koreans, a lot of Chinese Americans. Flushing's like no, no, no other place in the world, man, because Flushing is like, you got, the Asian boys banging out right over there, and you got the black boys banging out right over there, and then you go to the club and you got them all banging out. And if you're not from the neighborhood, you come in there and you get thrown for a loop, you know what I'm saying? You see all these motherfuckers, because you know, a lot of people, you know, like stereotypes don't just stand for black folks neither, you know what I'm saying? Stereotypes, you know, stand for you get this white boy coming in, he want to ching chong chong, and then he come out here to flush and he see niggas with fuck up. Hoodies and scullies and motherfucking pants sagging and they over here dapping the niggas and the projects and, and then he throwing for a loop. He ain't even know that type of society. Growing up around Flushing for 24 years is actually I've seen a lot of things go down, you know, like a lot of good things, you know, bad things here and there. But so far, you know, it, it's you know, it's a life, you know, lesson learned I could say, you know. Flushing is like everywhere else, man. If you know your hustle, you know your neighborhood. Introductions, no need. I'm from the alley where ducks hang, where the city don't sleep. On the block, English now, they don't speak like no speak, but know the meaning of your whole speech. That's Chinatown. Flushing be the stomping ground. West 32nd after dark, that's what I'm about. After hours, after after hours, with a geisha named Mina who blow me at the shower. But I'm a changed man, started traveling. Too many years we was caught up in the trafficking. Too many nights under underground gambling. It's crazy. Cause I don't even speak Mandarin Was a sick teen, spit 16 since 16 With a slick team who get cream and split clean Visually I paint pictures like Da Vinci Which means I'm an artist, so feel me Cause I'm filthy, like the dirt on my name Show had a movement, like real shit Like you would, you would walk around flushing You'd walk around K-Town and you see gutter fam stickers Every the fuck with You know the six train, you see, you see that shit up on the you know, on Shula Bakery walls and all that, like, Gunna Fan was a movement for real, like, they had hoodies and, and like, he was doing the street team shit before, like, motherfuckers really, before there was really, like, an internet grind, you know, he was, he was really hitting the streets and he had, like, you know, little goony goons and flushing, passing out flyers and doing, doing the street team shit, and that was, like, a new, like, he was trying to, he was, he was following, like, the, uh, like the street uh, business model and all that. And no one really, no one really did that for the Asian shit uh, until show. I remember in high school, like him and his whole clique, Gunna Fam, like had this whole area like loaded down to the dot, like had they Gunna Fam stickers everywhere, pushing they mixtapes. Brother Show holding it down for the rap nation. We're always doing it big and whole proud. That's what it is. Proud of my man. He going up in the biz. 
I've been listening to Shogunna since since day one. I've always been a big fan, and um, uh, just he's my boy. You know, I always tell him I'm always a big, big fan. Whether he makes it or not, I'm a big fan of his. We both Zulus, you know what I mean? We represent hip hop, the five elements, New York City and Queens to the fullest is what we all about. Before all the extra shit, you know what I mean? You know, before. All the extra shit that we don't, you know, no longer kick it about, you know, we, we, we hip hop artists, you know what I'm saying? We ox, we believe in, you know what I'm saying? Spreading knowledge and fucking, you know, goodwill amongst the, you know, the, the minority youths. Nani shi pavi manja bolla? I don't know, they have a. No. Yangachi no re. Yangachi no re? Yangachi no re, no re. Ke. Hangok 60 nyon de ye. 50 nyon, 60 nyon de ha dunga iso. 크가고 얘가 지금 하는 게 똑같아. 그래서 아 이게 양아치 노릇나. In the household it was rough because my mother was very strict but also always stressing and just to see my mom worried about bills, tearing up because of that. It was it was very stressful. But in the neighborhood wise, it was fun. As a kid growing up to me, it was fun. Writing songs in the cube all day long in the mess hall. Yeah. While we was waiting for niggas to come through, we was in there rapping, all that man. Yeah. All that. And uh, yeah, niggas used to uh, battle in the day room and all that. And he was there, you know, taking niggas' mics all day. That's all we did. And as I got older, I started getting heavily involved with the, the Asian gangs. And that's when a lot of the bad stuff happened, I would say. Where I made a lot of wrong decisions in my life. And the wrong decisions led me to prison. And then even when I came home, I was wilding out. I'm not gonna lie, I was going crazy. From what I heard, he's the one that put in that work, like that real work. You know what I mean? Like even from talking to like the, you know, the OGs, show you put in that work. You know, and in his time, it was shit was, you know what I mean? Like you couldn't walk the streets of flushing with, with a fucking, with a, with a bang on your, on, you with long hair without getting pressed. You know, he certified. You know what I'm saying? Bad boy before. <laughs> but anyway, it's good. But I know you always trouble. <laughs> but now you come down a lot. That's good. I wasn't in my right state of mind, I would say, but there was a team I had to take care of, my mother, so it was just a lot of things, but pull up my rap sheet, it's always gonna be there till I die. I'm not proud of it, but I had to do what I had to do. That's it. The Sesangwalu Chebal. Kamoge is the Kugal Kol Samaso. Kuronedal. 외로운 애들을 돕는 대장이 아니라 똘마니가 아니라 형으로서 도와주는 오빠 형 사회사업가가 돼야지 엄마처럼 엄마가 실망한 건 엄마는 평생을 남은 돕는 일을 하고 살았는데 내 새끼들이 다 망가지니까. 그까지 그 존이라고 살 필요 없다 생각했어. 그런데 지금 보니까 아니야. 너도 그쪽에서 네가 경험한 그대로 그런 애들은 이제 돕는 거야. 네 경험이 많으니까. 엄마는 그런 경험은 하나도 없었잖아. So I'm too busy for all the nonsense going on the streets. I'm recording a song instead of going out looking for a whorehouse or a massage parlor to buy or gambling spots to jack up. Witnessing my own friends that live a similar um, lifestyle as I did, who are still caught up in that lifestyle, where are they now? Dead or in jail. I'm glad that like my main team, they're actually doing good. A lot of them, you know, they're all legit, and uh, own businesses or working. I, I thank God that they're okay. You fresh back out? And I'm fresh, I'm fresh back out. I'm doing my thing. We're both grinding. You know, we had our rough times, but we out here doing it. Still gonna be doing this thing on the other side. And Cali, you know what I mean? He's doing good and shit. Everybody flushing. We, we holding them down. You know, we come to here, we show love. You know what I mean? That's that's my boy right there. We got love for him over here. Yo, I see a world none of y'all exist in. Bunch of graveyards with their coffins pissed in. I see it now, there's more power to hold. Niggas respect more money, now I'm out of control. I'm only out of it when out of the blow. Out of my mind in the crime like I'm out of parole. Like a magician when you mention in coke. Put the game in the position with intention to choke. 
Uh, but keep in mind what my currency do. I make a nigga new home in the emergency room. Mm. Ain't no IV in. I split them in half like breaking the Siamese twin. Oh. I'm getting these bitches hot cause they like her. From trees I switch it to rock if the price good. Rat nigga, send me a pig just to cop for you. I'ma find a place I'ma dig in a box for you. Mm. We're not on the blocks, we're not on the corner, it's like we're not freaking throwing gang signs, nah, we try to keep it incognito as possible, that's how it was, that was the mentality, because there was so much stuff we're getting into, like, what we were involved in was a lot of other things, just some, you know, gambling houses, massage parlors, room salons, just um, a lot of other rackets, bootlegs, no, and that's it. You know, that's like the only thing that I can talk about. There's no need to get into detail about all the whole other things. But also the fight for control of each spot. That was like the problem with the Asian gangs. It's like which side takes over that territory, which which side is gonna hold down that gambling spot. That was like the reason why we was always getting into drama and wars. So yeah, but I'm, I just thank God I'm alive. Never let a hard time break you. Don't forget that everything's a blessing. Pain is the best way to shape you, and it'll make you. It's like paying an investment. You gotta be a smart man if you wanna live right. Sacrifice so you can give life. I don't wanna be in a bed with a gun grip tight. I believe in heaven and said I wanna be with Christ. You know that pain, the problems, it won't stop. Bills, the drama won't stop. Uh -huh. Think of the day we on top. Trying to live right, we gripping the 4-5. And we wanna live clean, but there ain't no job. Uh -huh. Shit, not a day go by without thinking about legging it out or robbing a man, cause there's nothing that day won't try, but Whoa. I maintain. Shit, I pray to my God. Like, Lord, do you hear me? My load's getting heavy and I'm weary. I travel the lonely road and there's nobody near me. So give me a sign. Cause it's really getting hard trying to live right in these end times. When I took my hiatus, I was going through a lot of, um, I guess, uh, emotion, not, yeah, emotional problems, like depression. Uh, a lot of, life was actually going downhill for me at that time, but they're the reason why I stayed strong. And then once I made the comeback, like they, they're still here. They stuck with me from day one and they're still here. And that's why, I'm like, wow, like, I have to say thank you more than thank you. You you guys are the reason why I'm here. Like, if it wasn't for you guys and girls, I'm not here. I wouldn't be here sitting here right now filming this. I wouldn't, like, none of this would have happened. So, I really have to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. All the younger artists coming up, man, it's not an easy road. If it came easy, it's not success. So, the only thing I can say is don't stop. Give it your all. That's all I can say. You have to give it your all. If you're not giving it your all, giving it your all, that means it's not really your passion. It takes time. So just keep progressing the craft, keep sharpening your skills, and just keep pursuing it. And then things will come. I love this. I love this game. Even though it's stressful because I'm independent, I love it. I like the stress because the outcome of it is beautiful. I really think if I wasn't pursuing hip hop, I would have been back in prison. I'll be totally honest. I've been wilding out, back in prison, or I would, I, I possibly could have got killed too. So that's why hip hop saved my life.